What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to talk about Tyler Algier, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content, hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support. If you would like to follow your boy on Twitter, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. If you would like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jew Talk Sports. And if you would like to join my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as I mentioned uh, in today's video, I do want to talk about Tyler Algier. Uh, Tyler Algier is the running back that we drafted in the fifth round uh, in the NFL draft. Uh, he played his college ball at BYU. And he goes about 5'11", uh, 220 pounds. Um, the first thing I really noticed when I watched his highlights is he's a guy that's really hard to bring down. Uh, he's a very physical runner, um, does a good job of following his blocks, uh, similar to like an Emmett Smith type. Uh, if you remember Emmett Smith in the 90s behind that great offensive line of the Dallas Cowboys, uh, he has a very low center of gravity. So it's hard to find him because he's only 5'11". Uh, he's hiding behind a lot of his blocks. He does a great job of following his blocking and things of that nature. Um, but he's a very physical runner, usually breaks the first uh, the first tackle. And he's very good um, as far as getting yards after contact because of his low center of gravity and his uh, physicality as far as him running the football. So I definitely think that he's going to be a great fit uh, in this uh, Arthur Smith offense, being that it's a run heavy offense. Um, and being that he's a physical player, um, our Falcons are trying to get a lot tougher in the trenches and we're trying to bring in players that are physical and that are a lot tougher. And I definitely think that Tyler Algier is one of those guys. Um, if you go look at his stats, uh, he was a bell cow uh, when he was in BYU the last two years. Uh, he had 23 touchdowns last year, over 1,600 yards rushing. So he definitely is a guy that was very productive in college. And I definitely see why Arthur Smith in the scout uh, scouting department with the Falcons, uh, fell in love with Tyler Algier. Uh, he's a guy also who can catch the ball out of the backfield. And he kind of puts me in the mind of uh, Michael Turner. They used to play with the Falcons, Turner the burner, uh, based, up, based off of his size. And he's kind of like short, stubby, but really strong. Um, and like I said, is really good at breaking tackles and things of that nature. Um, he also is built similar to Mike Davis as well. That was with our Falcons last season. Both of those guys are around the same height, 5'11", 5'10", 220 pounds. So definitely think that this was a good pickup by our Atlanta Falcons. Um, I definitely think that Tyler Algier has a chance to be the starter for our Atlanta Falcons, uh, depending on how well he does in training camp and depending on how well he does in the preseason games. I do expect him to get a lot of snaps during preseason so they can see who will be the starter. I do think it's going to be an open competition because we do have Damian Williams we brought in um, from the Bears. We still have Quadri Olison on this roster. We still have CP uh, on this roster as well. So I think Tyler Algier definitely is going to have a chance to prove, uh, to prove himself in the preseason and in training camp that he should be a guy that could possibly be the starter. Uh, regardless of if he's a starter or not, I do believe the Falcons are going to run like a, a multitude of running backs where we're going to have maybe a three to four head a three to four head monster in the backfield. I don't expect any of these guys to be bell cows and get 20 to 25 carries in a game. I think you're going to split up the carries between Quadre Olison, between Damian Williams and between uh, CP and Tyler Algier. So I definitely think that that'll be a good thing uh, for Tyler Algier to keep the running backs fresh. I think it's great to have multiple guys that carry the ball for you because in the fourth quarter and things of that nature, um, the defense begins to wear down. And if you have, you know, multiple running backs, you definitely can wear on a defense. And I think Tyler Algier and Quadra Olison, both of those guys are very physical runners. And I think in the fourth quarter and in short yarded situations, I think that those guys are going to be really hard to stop. Um, I do think that our offensive line is going to have to be better in the run game. Um, and just better as as a whole as far as protecting the passer, but also creating running lanes, because I felt like last season um, my offensive line didn't do a good job of creating running lanes. 
uh, for Mike Davis or for Cordell Patterson. Um, and that's why we've seen Mike Davis struggle because there weren't um, there weren't many running lanes available for a guy like Mike Davis and then and for CP as well. Uh, CP had to do a lot of creating in the backfield and, you know, being creative and finding open spaces and open gaps uh, to run through. And I think this year we're going to have to be better, especially in the interior part of our line where our center and our guards are. They have to be a lot better in getting push up front to allow these guys like Quadra Olison to allow t- uh, Tyler Algier to have space where they can go and, you know, carve between the defense and run between the tackles. But with that being said, uh, you guys let me know what you think of Tyler Algier. I definitely think that it was a good pickup by Atlanta Falcons. I definitely um, think that he could be the future as far as being the number one running back for our team uh, in a couple seasons. But this season, I definitely think he'll have an opportunity to come in and be a part of this running back uh, room that we have. Because I do, like I said, think it's going to be multiple running backs that will be used uh, in this Arthur Smith scheme. But with that being said, you guys let me know what you think of Tyler Algier. Uh, Let me know if you liked uh, liked the pick by Atlanta Falcons. I definitely think it was a solid pick, especially to get him in the fifth round because of his production and because of his physicality. I definitely think he he could bring some things to the table uh, for our team. But with that being said, this being your boy, Ju, I'll highlight you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Don't hit, uh, forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy is on the road to 2,000 subscribers. With that being said, peace.